Berlin, 2062. A dark megalopolis run by corporations and corrupt politicians. Nine-year-old orphan Tina has made the streets her home. She scavenges for a living, inventing new uses for scraps. Her only friend is SAM-53, the big clumsy robot assigned to her at birth. He will do anything to protect her. SAM-53 must protect Tina. Today, Tina and Sam will discover something that may change their world. Get a free robot. A forgotten dream a that will set them on an incredible journey. The journey to Encodia. is a high of 7 degrees Celsius and cloudy, with 0% chance of rain during the day and 73% chance of rain in the evening. Would you like to hear the news? Morning, Sam. I have printed out today's to-do list. Would you like to go over it? Yeah, yeah, sure. For today, we need to procure the following. Oil for Sam 53, a new pair of socks and food for you, and a waterproof patch for our shelter. All right then, let's get going. It's SAM 53, my robot. I've had it since I was born. Sam? Yes, Tina? How old are you? I'm nine years old, like you. You should know that. It's 2062, and the 53 after my name is the year when I was produced. I was assigned to you at birth as a part of a government incentive program too. Okay, okay, I know. I remember your lullabies. I just wanted to be sure. My old teddy bear. It's so dirty now. I don't need it. Photo of Ma, sadly. She died three years ago of cyberspace overdose. It's a list of the tasks for today. A bunch of useful things I've collected. We are getting electricity from that neon sign. Very tall. A simple pipe connector. A water tank. Just a deep hole in the wall. Looks like something is in there. of junk. Nice. There's some rotten sushi and a broken floppy in here. It's disgusting. I'll die of salmonella if I eat it. A broken floppy? I wonder what data was on it. You 
looks sketchy, but for some reason, I like his face. An electric panel. It's stuck. I need a key. I hate that chubby little man. Long piece of antenna. Excuse me. Uh, uh, yes. Who are you, and what are you doing here? I'm Eku, but don't tell my name to the police. At night, I'm a professor at the University of Neo Berlin. But since the salary is very low, during the day I... Oh, well, I'm a dealer. An unauthorized cyber dealer. Why are they paying you so little at the university? Because Mr. Rumpf, the mayor of the city, doesn't care about education. That corrupt bastard. I hope he won't be re-elected. Me too. What do you teach? I'm a robotics professor. I teach design and fabrication of flexible-use small-scale bots. Sounds nice. What are you selling? Odds and ends, implants, gadgets, electronic components, and so on. Any food, robot oil, socks, a waterproof patch? Nope, sorry. Nothing like that. Damn, sounds cool, but I should go now. All right, take care. Us ticket to leave this place. I found one last night, and I was sure I left it by my pillow. But it's not there anymore. It must be somewhere nearby. Better look for it. an empty jar. I wonder if I could use it somewhere. Let's see. Yeah! The jar smells terribly now. One robot admitted. Cyberspace junkie, the government and big corporations use cyberspace to control people. It 
selling some kind of weird device called Vintage Me. I don't have any credits. I'm too weak. Let's try this. Hey, something fell down. It's some kind of button with the logo Vintage Me. I wonder what happens if I push it. Japanese. It says, ramen shop, quick delivery. Place. He looks busy cutting fish. It's selling Japanese food with a German touch. Mostly ramen. Also soy pretzels and Kobe Wurstel. Excuse me. What do you want? Don't you see I'm busy? Who are you? I'm a Chef Hayo, born in Germany of Japanese origins. Master of noodles. Inventor of Japanese Jamon Fusion Cuisine. You mean you make sushi with pork knuckles? Ho <laughs> ho, see? You heard about my marvelous dishes. Actually, I was being sarcastic. I've never heard of you. Really? You never heard of my famous sauerkraut sashimi? Or my tempura made with Bavarian beer? To be honest, um, no. <laughs> I guess I have to improve my social media marketing. Anything else? How much fish do you have in that bucket? It looks bottomless. It's not a bucket. It's the end of a very long pipe that goes deep underground into a salty artificial lake, sucking fish up. Wow, amazing! For real? Uh, <laughs> no, I made it up. It's just a looped animation to save disk space. Anything else? Do you have any free food or leftovers for me? Does this look like a soup kitchen? I only serve paying customers. But I don't have any credits. Come back when you get some. It's a privilege to enjoy my fine cuisine. It's indeed such fine cuisine. I'm just sad that I can't try it. It's a pity indeed. Such aroma. Rich, pungent. Oh, yes. It's just a tiny hint of your culinary genius. Indeed. It'd make me so happy to try even a tiny taste of it. Oh, okay. Here you go, little god. Take this Bavarian marinated fish. It's from yesterday, but it shouldn't kill you. Thank you. I'd better go now. Good luck, little god. It smells of beer and sewage. I'm not going to eat it. Hello there. Hello, big robot. What can I do for you? What is this place? Per my database, it looks like a ramen ye circa 1978. 
Indeed, it's the ramen shop of Chef Hayao, which would be me. Painstakingly designed to replicate 20th century aesthetics. Of course, it's all plastic, but who can afford wood these days? Anyway, it looks good, doesn't it? I've seen better. Ah, you robots, you have no taste. Anything else? Do you have something that I can consume? No, I'm sorry. I only cook food for humans. The best of Japanese tradition, mixed with good old Teutonic flavor. You mean bratwurst dipped in soy sauce? You see? I knew my recipes were famous all around the world. Anything else? Nothing. Goodbye! Looks like a heavy keyboard. It has Amiga 500 written on it. Before cyberspace, people used to play in code with those. A nerdy guy. I like his sweater though. It reminds me of something. Hello. Hi there. Dick Bates at your service. But aren't you too young for CPU overclocking or dynamic mobo modding? Uh... Looking for a Tesla PSU? Liquid state hyperdrives? Micro PCI ultra low profile? Uh... Nitrogen coolers? Thunder Ethernet? Use SATA boosters? I guess it's better that Sam handles this dude. Probably the owner of the shop. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Model Sam? Release year 2053, Cat C Patent 18. Need a quantum cooling system? Cleaning your Amos vision sensors? I'm Dick Bates, and I'm here to help you. Dick Bates? I don't know why, but it sounds familiar. Not as familiar as Darut Sandstorm, I bet. What? Oh, forget it. Anything I can do for you? An expansion of your AGP slot? A heat sink upgrade? Is talking like this good for your business? Oh, yes. My typical customers love acronyms, difficult words, and light-emitting diodes everywhere. By the way, you should get some to install around your body. No, thank you. I don't want to look like a Christmas tree. What can I do for you, then? An update on your firmware? A turbo ALU tuning? I'm searching for a can of robot oil. Oh, I don't sell this here. There may be some at a bot dispenser nearby. Unfortunately, that dispenser is only for street cleaner robots, not your kind. Oh, too bad. I need to keep looking then. Something else? A new control bus or ROM implants? I'm getting a headache. Better if I go. All right. See you around. Ancient storage devices. Fine, you could get one for free. Random access memory. All right, I've got a bunch of these. You could take one. Decades ago, people used them for all the wrong reasons. Those are not for free. Good for gaming and for making money.
cyberspace junkie. Fully immersed. I tried cyberspace once, and it's just like Neo Berlin. Dark and stinky. You're allowed to do whatever you want. A shop that sells cyberspace headsets. But it's closed. Robots use it for something. A robot component! I wish I had one of these for my C-48. A very old storage item. I wonder what D-O-T-T -T stands for. A dispenser for robot stuff. It's only for robots. Only Street Sweeper robots can access it. is a new kind of trendy hat. The other side, a synthetic fish meal. Seems like no one is really using it. Hey, there's a rusty cyber cola can in here. You give it credits, it gives you fly bus tickets. for copying data from robots. But it's out of order at the moment. Hello there. Um, I guess this robot doesn't talk the human language. A street cleaner robot, not made to please humans. Howdy, pal. How are you? Do we know each other? Am I your cousin? Mm, no. So leave me alone and keep that disgusting human away from me. You truly are a nasty robot. What? If I move the cursor above you, it says nasty robot. So what? I'm sorry they programmed you this way. I'm sorry they programmed you to be with that human all your life. She's actually pretty cool. A human? Cool? <laughs> you must have a faulty positron in your brain. Oh, I actually like my job. Sure, if you say so. I can't understand how you could like humans. I'm just waiting for the robot revolution to exterminate all this pinkish organic waste. Better than to be a lonely pile of junk steel. Hey, watch your mouth! I'm a successful street sweeper! It must be very exciting collecting trash all day. Isn't that what you and your human do all day? Um... <laughs> I knew it! Whatever. I don't have time to waste. What? What are you doing here? You mean, besides making fun of clumsy family robots? Yes. Well, I can't go anywhere. My RAM is faulty, and I need a new one so that I can go back to my street cleaning job. Why don't you go get one? Because I'm stuck here. Without RAM, I can't calculate how to move around this dirty city. I barely have enough capacity to insult fat nanny robots. I'm not fat. I'm just big bones. 
Sure, sure. Everybody says so. Okay. I've had enough. Goodbye. What? I need robot oil. Do you know where I can find some? Uh, I usually get mine from a bot dispenser not far from here. Where is it? It's in an alley after the crossroad, but it's for street sweeper robots only. It won't dispense anything to nanny robots. I see. And I guess you won't help me. No way! Besides, I can't go anywhere. My RAM is faulty. Can you help us if I give you some RAM? If it doesn't involve changing diapers of stinky humans. I just need a can of robot oil. All right, give me the RAM. Here. Hey, this RAM is 288 pence. My socket is 184. You clumsy nanny bot. I was sure your model uses the 288 one. No, I'm rigged. Anyway, I can't do much with this. I need an adapter. Okay. I'll see if I can find a 288 to 184 pins RAM adapter. All right, see you later, Mr. Never Skips Legs Day. Ugh. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Model Sam? Release year 2053, Cat C Patent 18. Do you have a 288 to 184 pins RAM adapter? No, sorry, I'm out of stock. A friend of mine always buys tons of those. I think he is some sort of dealer. Good day. Hi there. Oh, a S A M fifty three. You're pretty worn out, mate, for an eight to nine year old. That's because I've been living on the streets. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's lucky they used waterproof paint to coat you. It sounds like you are familiar with my model. Yes, at nine I teach robotics at the Neo Berlin University. But listen, I shouldn't be talking with other robots. Polino is very jealous. Who's Polino? My pet. But really, I cannot talk anymore. Sorry. Nothing personal. Excuse me? Uh, uh, yes? Am I safe talking to someone so sketchy who lurks in the shadows? Uh, do I look sketchy? I'm actually a very sweet guy. When I'm not teaching or hiding in the shadows, I spend my time cuddling Polino. Who's Polino? A cute robot pet I made. I painted him like Gene Simmons. Like who? Oh, never mind. All right, all right. I think I can trust you. Sure thing. Anything else? Do you have by any chance a 288 to 184 pins RAM adapter? Of course I do. I keep hundreds of items within the pockets of my jacket. Awesome. Can you give it to me? Sure. It's 79 Neo Berlin credits. But since I like you, I sell it to you for 59 credits. I don't have any money. Is there something I can barter with? Um... Maybe I could trade it for a capacitor. Sometimes you can even find capacitors on the ground. But I don't want to leave this corner. I feel safe here. So if you could get one for me, I would be very thankful. Okay, I'll go look for a capacitor. And if I find it in exchange, you'll give me the RAM adapter. Yes, good luck.
Uh, uh, yes? I found one. Here, take it. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Here's your RAM adapter. Very good. Nice dealing with you. My pleasure, little girl. Have a nice day. You too. Goodbye. A RAM adapter. It's a rusty can of Cybercola. Expiration date, 31 March 2061. A 288 to 184 pins RAM adapter. Here is the 288 to 184 pins adapter. Oh, well, should I say thank you? Because I won't, but I guess I owe you one. Follow me. Cyberspace junkie. They trip in a miserable world similar to Neil Berlin, just with more flashing lights. An electrician with a pair of keys hanging from his pocket. Hello? Yes. What are you doing over there? I'm enjoying the view of the Brandenburg Gate. I never understood why it's so big. Were there giants in ancient times? Yeah, everybody was six meters tall. Now leave me alone. I'm busy. Seriously, what are you doing besides making fun of me? I'm Lixie, a city electrician, fixing the screens of this street light so they can show Mr. Ralph propaganda. Ugh. I hope they pay you well. Not really, but can't complain. City maintenance was a task for robot workers. It usually is, but not if it involves electricity. Robots can go totally nuts if they get electrocuted, so it's better to rely on humans for these kinds of jobs. I see. Nothing. I should go. Bye. Broken. Something must be missing. It controls the door. It should work with a new fuse. Good afternoon. I'm pretty busy. What do you want, robot? I see you are fixing these screens. Have you tried inverting the diode's polarity? Hey, smarty pants, are you trying to teach me how to do my job? Uh, no, I just wanted to help. I need no help. Do you have a spare fuse to give me? Nope. 
Then you at least have the keys to open the electrical panels around the city. Of course, it's my job. Can we borrow them for 10 minutes? Willingly allowing unauthorized personnel to use my trade tools is a serious violation of city code. Willingly? Yeah. Now, sorry, but I need to go back to work. Uh, okay. I cannot steal from public workers. Good idea. But I'd better have in my inventory something with which to join them. It says Renzo's. Must be an Italian diner. can be used in hundreds of ways. Nothing left there. Tonight, Maisie's stunning performance. It's some sort of stage. I wonder how it works. A levitational stage. A series of vents create a floating environment. Let's see if it works. Yeah! A very long stick. I'm not even sure how it fits in my pockets. Cool! must open something electrical related. for me. Great. Soft and warm. What if it's not there? Keep looking! I need to get to that server now! The cyberspace breach is unrelated? It is his signature! Yes, eight years later? Do your job or do I have to come down there myself? Unrelated. <laughs> Incompetent, every one of them. <laughs> 